guys I'm gonna go ahead and do something a little backwards on this video and I'm gonna put the end of the day wrap up first and then put what I took pictures of in the uh, videos that I took today the reason that I want to do that is because I have done just a lot of driving today and so the videos really won't make a lot of sense unless um, I explain them first so uh, me and the bakers we got up early this morning and I took them back to the trail I dropped them off at Davenport Gap and then I headed up to Max Patch Trailhead um, and that had to be the scariest drive I've ever done in my life um, yeah not something I ever wanted to do again um, I got up there the trailhead was just packed with people and so I ended up leaving there and went down to Hot Springs um, I stopped at the Smoky Mountain Diner which is still open but they would let you eat order your food and then uh, you could take it around to their back porch and they had uh, tables and chairs back there that you could sit at and eat and so anyway I did that and uh, probably definitely one of the best burgers I've ever had I can see why that place is so so popular on the trail um, and then right next door is a Dollar General and so I ran in there I was out of ibuprofen so I ran in there real quick and got that and um, looked around town a little bit and really couldn't find anywhere to overnight park there in Hot Springs uh, not here in my van so I went out to Tanyard Gap um, which is a great place to sit up and do trail magic and all of that but there was no cell signal there whatsoever um, really wasn't people around I mean there was some cars parked there but nobody that I could borrow a phone you know to be able to text my daughters and let them know that you know where I was and that I was okay so I sat there for several hours and uh, no hikers came through nothing and I'm pretty sure I was probably it was probably just too late in the day for the hikers to be coming through that that gap there um, it's not far after you get back on the trail from Hot Springs or when you leave Hot Springs it's it's not very far from that point I think it's like six miles so um, I didn't see any hikers in Hot Springs and so they had probably already been through there and gone um, so I decided to leave there and I drove into Greenville Tennessee and um, checked out to Walmart to see if there was overnight parking there there were signs up uh, saying no overnight parking in there so I ended up coming over here to a TA truck stop and I called ahead and everything made sure that you know I could overnight before I drove over here and so that's what I'm doing now just um, overnighting at the TA and my plan is tomorrow morning to go back to Tenure Gap um, and see if some through hikers come through um, one of the groups that I've been helping from the very beginning of this you know two and a half weeks ago um, they contacted me today and they were able to get someone to move them uh, around the Great Smoky Na Mountain National Park and drop them off at Max Patch today so um, they will probably be coming into Hot Springs if not tomorrow then the next day and then Sarah and Jonathan will be coming in either Saturday or Sunday um, 
as far as I know right now, uh, all of my group pretty much has gotten off the trail. So, time to find some new people to help, I guess. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go out there and see who happens to come through. And next couple of days, just do some trail magic. Um, so anyway, um, uh, saw absolutely beautiful country today. Um, I've driven all over the United States, all over the lower 48 states. And I've asked myself so many times, why do people choose to live where they live, you know? And, um, but driving through these mountains... There's no reason to even ask yourself that because all you have to do is look around and I mean it's the reason is all around you. It is just so beautiful here. Um, the lakes and the streams and um, the creeks and the waterfalls and I mean it's just everywhere. And then you've got mountains and valleys and it's just incredible. I can't imagine what this place would look like in the summertime when all the trees are um, in full bloom and uh, or in the fall when they're all turning colors. I mean, it would have to be just an incredible, incredible sight. Um, so anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll show you some of the pictures that I took today and couple of the videos it's really hard on a driving day when you're driving all day long um, to stop and take videos of anything you know uh, otherwise you never get anywhere uh, but I did stop at a um, couple of different places earlier in the morning and then later this afternoon I was just ready to get somewhere and get shut down for the day so all right Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. See y'all soon. Bye. start the video today right here at the overlook that I was at the other day when uh, I was in a cloud and show y'all this gorgeous view Looks very different today. All right. See you on a little bit. So, uh, he's all puffed up. Look at him. He's showing out. That is amazing. They are everywhere. <laughs> well, I just dropped off the bakers at uh, Davenport Gap, and I wanted to show y'all the dirt road that I'm driving on up here in the mountains to uh, get to Davenport Gap but if you look over there that's the other side of that road and it's just twisty windy all the way down 
scary road to drive. <clears throat> but it's absolutely beautiful out here. It's a beautiful day. And we've had a wonderful drive trying to get here. So, yeah, let's see where we end up today. I want this river to be in my front yard. I don't care what kind of house it is. I don't care if I'm living in a teepee. I love this river here. Look at this. That is so awesome. This little community here is so cute. That house right there would make a perfect hostel. Have hikers staying with you during hiking season. Got this little building right here. Little park on the other side of the river. for the kids to play in. And then you have the uh, electric plant. So that little river runs down here and empties into this big river. You got the interstate up there above it. It's a boat launch. And then it keeps going out that way. Just beautiful out here. And that's where we're headed up there to the to I-40. Headed to our next gap. Stuff like this that you cannot see driving down the interstate. Just gorgeous. Wow. 